Hello everybody, it's Hero here. Happy New and I'm wishing every one of you a Happy New Year's, just in case if I don't make it this time. <laughs> now, I am apologize for being several months late on my Let's Play of Sonic Generations. Of course, life, work, and chores got in the way. But, I'm hoping all of you have had a Merry Christmas and got lots of qu Christmas swag. <laughs> Now, as for my update, I'm going to be linking a journal from my DeviantArt in the description below to let you guys know what's going to be happening for next year, which involves Gmod and future videos for my channel. So, all in all, thank you all for being very patient, and also thank you for 110 subscribers. I'm currently working on a video right now that's Gmod related and it's probably not going to be all that spectacular like the inverted shadows or anything, but I'll do my best. So, without further ado, finally it's time to face the next boss in Sonic Generations. The Dreamcast era boss. Let's get started. Okay, everybody, I've, I'm back after a long hiatus, and it's time for us to get done with, the th with three challenge acts for the Dreamcast era. Now, when I, pra when I practiced these, I found that the doppelganger race was the fastest way of completing, of completing three challenges. So, right, so here we are in Speed Highway going to take on the doppelganger race for this stage and claim our key. Now, just to let you guys know, this is me post commentating because when I was doing these during the recording, I had, I had stuff that never happened to me during practice. So, warning you all ahead, prepare for some uh, miscalculations and screw-ups on my end. I think in the f I think in the future I may steer steer clear of doppelganger races because of how much trouble I had recording them. Believe me when I say I practice these stages, I practice them like ten times. Now, I don't know what happened there. I did not see that those springs had a uh, definite ending. Yeah, I turned a little too hard right there.
going down there wasn't actually was not in my plan for this stage. I have no idea how that happened. Seriously, it's, uh, it's, some parts of, these, of this game is just turning back into Sonic 06. I've still yet to master the fine art of drifting. Well, not as spectacular as before as uh, my previous challenges, but don't worry, I'll be coming back to S rank this eventually. And I misread that little box right there. I did not want to try this again. Even if we don't, even if we don't exit the stage when we complete it, like like what I just did, it'll still count. So now we claim our key, and let's find that music note. Come on, come on. We got Song for Toxic Caves. I believe that's a, uh, a Genesis Sonic song. I'm not sure. It's been forever and a day since I played the Genesis games. Alrighty, here we go with City Escapes Doppelganger Race. And uh seriously, next time next time I'm about to do challenge gate challenge gates for the next area, I'm going to expand my options. Cause seriously, these doppelganger races require so much focus and the split second decisions and then again and then again, I'm not the, uh, I'm not all that great at multitasking. Didn't mean to go down here, just didn't react fast enough. Went 
too far on there. Ugh. Let's try that again, shall we? I hate this part, this part right here with a passion. Come on, you stupid fight, work with me! Yeah, you all are screaming, why didn't you use the air boost? It's because there's a spate, there's a gap between the that platform and the building, so I would have dropped down again. I run out of boost on here so many times. Oh god, that was so close right there. My dust. And thankfully, this didn't go any better than the previous one. But, yeah, but I'll be, but I'll definitely be back and fix this. Sheesh, I'm up. I'm. I was off my game when I was recording this. I have really don't know why. And we get artwork 43, I believe. Yeah, 43. It's kind of hard to see when you're not in HD. Now, to let you guys know, there's going to be a there's going to be a jerk coming up right about now. The reason for that is I had some technical di difficulties, so I had to cut out the so I had to cut out what I was recorded when the glitching started and re record again. Sonic? 
Now this stage I practiced more than the others because this one was just gave me so many troubles even during the practice. That, were, that one right there was tricky to pull off during during a boost, but I managed it. I even found a few new roots during my practice runs as well. And for some reason the X button didn't respond. I hate it when, I hate it when these well I got luck I actually got lucky here no I didn't There we go I've been you do you have no idea how just how hard it is to land on that It's a lot harder than it looks Now this was the part that keeps giving me troubles. That one jump right there. Has anybody else had that same problem? Still haven't figured out how to get up there. Maybe the walls have to be a little closer together. Oh crap, there's my there's a clone and he just Oh, you are not beating me. Even if I have no boost, you will not beat me. I mean, seriously, this right here during the recording was so effing close. Just watch. And bam, there he is, right behind me. After a run like that, I'm just satisfied I, I'm just satisfied I cleared the dang thing. 
Oh, brother. But, yeah, I cannot, I am not letting these rest. I am going to come back, and I am going to dominate them. But, for now, let's just bask in our victory and go claim our key. As soon as I can figure out how to get to it. <laughs> So while we're on our way to get our key, the next in the next area is Challenge Axe. We collected all the boss gate keys. We've heard this before. As I was saying, in the next area, I'm going to be doing a a mix of challenges. One Sonic, like one s classic Sonic, one modern Sonic, and another classic Sonic. Alrighty. Boss gate is finally open, and n right now would seriously be a great time to take. I'm sorry, Rome Mithril, but I have to say this: a refreshing pause because I need to calm the hell. Because I need to calm the heck down right now. Well, I had to when I was recording, so I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty, refreshed and everything's all good. I that break actually took several hours because I had to go to work. <laughs> but it's high time to take on the final boss. I mean not well not the final boss, the final boss of the boss of the uh, Dreamcast era we're in right now. <sighs> uh and surprising, and surprisingly, when I when I was recording this just a few minutes ago, really, it actually went a little better than I thought. I thought I wasn't going to be able to see the road because, let's face it, I'm doing this on composite. It's not exactly the most detailed uh, quality setting. Perfect chaos. See, when you're fighting, I found that fighting perfect chaos is really a fight of trying to keep your boost gauge from going empty. Because, as everybody knows. Starting the boost eats up a lot of it. And I don't know how lucky I got right there. Also, it's a good I it's a good thing to note that when you hit chaos, whatever boost you ha apparently whatever boost you have in your gauge just <laughs> vanishes. Also, watch out for these, for those water tentacle things, because they, they're constantly trying to keep you from achieving the best time, which they successfully did in this case. I took my time on this part because I was really low on boost. Plus, it's also platforming. I don't always enjoy platforming. Is anybody else starting to get sick and tired of Omo Chow? Because if you are, I'll disable him on the next on the next video.
got a little lucky there with that one ring that gave me the extra boost I need to get up to his fat head. Oh, platforming. How I hate the... Only in a Sonic game does platforming get uber annoying. Now, right here, I have no idea what happened. I heard the ping, I pressed the button, nothing. I just drowned. Thank you, random ring. I will do it this time. I shall do it this time. Okay, this is just me checking the fr the uh, frames dropped on my uh, recording on my studio program. And Chaos is down for the count. Well, not the most spectacular run, but we got the trophy Perfect Punisher. So, yes, this was a less than stellar run as my previous ones. But I will be back and S-rank all of these in due time. Because as you all know, S-ranks are all that, ex that are acceptable in Sonic. <laughs> now, behold, as I be quiet for a while for a cutscene. Enjoy. You brought back quite a bit of this world. You're doing great, Sonic! You mean, you're doing great Sonics? Right. I, I may never get used to that. Oh! Watch out! That monster sure didn't like that emerald. Those things have come in handy in the past. We've already got a couple, but... We, we need, need that, that emerald! Sonic, you should go over there and check it out! I bet you can bring that Chaos Emerald back, just like you brought back our friends! And I bet you double we're gonna need all seven emeralds! You guys have your work cut out for you! An adventure's no fun if it's too easy. Alrighty, now we have before us the final area, before the final boss, the modern era. We can now explore the next area, yada yada yada. I'm surprised this, this part went really well because, honestly, it, the frame rate jumped from 5 to 87. The frame dropped, and... We have finally obtained our second Chaos Emerald. So yes, I'm not looking forward to the next, to the first stage of the third area. But next time on Sonic Generations, we will be playing my most hated stage of any Sonic game in existence. The 
dreaded ca Crisis City of Sonic 06. So, until next time, this is Hero361, and I'll see you all again next time. Happy New Year's, everybody, and sayonara.